So, my game's UI sucks. I need to rebuild it. To encourage a more simple user experience, I want the new design to have a single page layout. I want it to also show an overview of the cars currently owned, so like no separate garage view like the old UI had. And finally, it needs to be scalable in terms of the stages, so that when I eventually add more, I don't have to rearrange the layout or add another screen to show them all at once. It needs to work. The design I came up with was very similar to the old one, with two major differences. The first one being that when you scrolled up to see more stages, the car view would actually minimise so that while you're looking at all your stages you could still see your current car selection. The second big difference being, when the car view is maximised, you'll be able to see both the previous and the next couple cars. The build started with the layout. I got the car view size to change depending on how far the user had scrolled. I then made it that other UI elements could either fade or translate, and then generated placeholder car buttons and figured out the scrolling between them. For the buttons, I didn't want to create a bunch of screenshots for the cars myself. I wanted the game to do that for me. So on startup, the game would create a bunch of render textures, one for each car, render to them, and then assign the image component in each of those buttons to that render texture. In practice, it wasn't that simple. The most notable issue I had was where the car images were stacking up on top of each other. I think this is a result of how I was swapping the car models in and out. So to fix this, I didn't fix how I was swapping the car models in and out. I just rendered one of the images per frame. And so to hide this, I just faded the car images in from completely transparent once they were rendered. I then made it so that you could spin the car and that you could see its stats. Then, what I thought was the final step was loading in the stage buttons and creating buy buttons for the cars and the stages. Only after having released the update with the new UI, I got some feedback saying I needed to bring the color selector back, so I did just that. On the surface, the new UI looks very similar to the old. However, it's a lot smoother, it feels a lot more polished, and it'll handle more stages and cars a lot better than the old one.